saw a lot of violence myself. Um, and I got into some things here and there, but not, I was into sports. So that's really what helped me. Um, it wasn't martial arts at first, it was basketball, but, and I think everyone, young people, they need something, right? Um, something to get into, something they care about to kind of get away from, you know, some of that maybe violent past that they may have had. Um, we all need right. something. We all need something to get into. And then the, the, the other part is the biochemistry affecting our behavior. And so if you have this yeah. release, even as horrible as boxing is to the, the face and the body, um, yeah. it's it's still better than flipping channels all day, For, for in, in my estimation. It's better to have that release. And what they did uh, from the Muhammad Ali days in the 60s and 70s till now is they've learned to do less sparring and more fitness, skill training, mindset, functionality, uh, all these types of things that are ancillary to the sport of the 1960s and 70s, which used to be who can take the most punches, who can who's still standing at the end of the fight, who can blast the other guy the most. That was the, the Rocky Marciano and Muhammad Ali days, unfortunately. But now when you talk to people, it's more about preserving that athlete for the big competition, which is where they can win a medal, win a, win a tournament, or make, or make some money. And Money Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather, has been very popular because he's gone years before he's had the right fight to make a $50 million or $80 million payday. And he's rewritten the textbook that Muhammad Ali started with the big money paydays, but getting abused and you know taking fights that you shouldn't have taken when you're out of shape or too old, those types of things. Do you have anything you would look, you wish to share on that idea? Um, one thing, as you were speaking, I, I thought about um, how how the advances in medicine and training and uh, mental training have all like changed everything. So I've been working in the NBA, and we have load management now, so you don't get to see the star players sometimes when they come to your city to play because they're trying to preserve those players for the playoffs, but also to lengthen their careers. And back in the day, they didn't used to have um, these cold tubs and hot tubs and a masseuse traveling on the plane. And like now they have everything. Um, I think Floyd Mer Merriweather, his father probably you know, he took a lot from his father. Sure. He showed him a lot. But I think he he brought it into kind of like the new age business wise as well. He just he just kind of everything from the training, mental training, obviously business, all that. He put that all together um, to be where he is today. Yeah. So he he became his own promoter um, and setting the own his own contracts. Uh, he didn't turn it over to a, a group of people who were supposed to overlook him, and then. A lot of these people, like in Ali's day, you would find the one person who was the most trusted person out of that group of five of your backers, and that person yeah. would either pass away or become senile, and then you were left in hands of the son or of the other people, and then it didn't always go the way you wanted. And someone like Don King could walk in and pay off the right person or promise them a payoff, and then you were you were subject to this uh, this horrible outcome. So. That's just, it's just a tough a tough go. I um I thought about the NBA and I I'm very interested in balance and recovery. So the human body, when you put it all out there, you you of course need all these other things to take place. It's just like uh, a hunter going on a hunt. He's, if if the hunter is unsuccessful on that hunt, they have to recover and get some sustenance before they can go hunt again. And one of the reasons I think that our testosterone increases when we're fasting is because it was an evolutionary result of not catching an animal. And now you need to have more musculature and fitness and speed to go out and have an opportunity number two and number three. Of course, if you keep missing on that hunt, you're going to run out of sustenance and fat to, to produce what you need to. But that's, in my estimation, where the higher testosterone and human growth, growth hormone that comes from this intermittent fasting and long-term fasting uh, comes from. 